So today, I want to I want to ask you: Do you guys know? Do you know what trouble is? What's tr tell me what trouble is? What's trouble? What? Something bad that happens. That's just something bad that happens. What's trouble? Like fire. Like what? Fire. Like fire, then you're in trouble, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Did you start a fire? No. Okay, yeah, but if you did, you would be in what? Trouble. trouble. Yeah, you got that right. You can do things and, and you can get in trouble, right? So, have you ever done anything and got in trouble? No. No, no. Perfect record so far, huh? I hope you don't mess that up. That's an awful burden to bear your whole life. Yeah, but you feel good, okay? <laughs> and I'm, yeah. I, well, I got in trouble. I, I remember when I was when I was your age, I got in trouble. You know what? Oh, right. <laughs> you can picture that, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, I guess so. So, you you want to hear how I got in trouble? True story. I was about your age, yes. and Still. and huh? And yeah, and I was I was your age, and, and what was happening was is that my mom had this big cookie jar on the cabinet in the kitchen, and she always kept cookies in there, you know. And I I kind of like to go and get a cookie, and I'm what are you supposed to do before you get a cookie out of the cookie jar? You're supposed to ask, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I'd already had a couple, and I wanted one more, so I figured asking wasn't going to work for me, right? So I went over, to, I went over there, and I was, I was like as tall as you, so I could reach up to the cabinet, but the cookie jar was a little bit farther over, and so I reached as far as I could, and I took the top off, and I put my hand in there. I could barely feel the top of the cookies. And I reached in there, and I got one. And as I pulled it out, the cookie that I had my hand just made the whole jar fall forward, and it rolled on the counter, and it hit the floor, and it broke into two pieces, cookies everywhere. And I said to myself, I'm in trouble. trouble. Yeah. Well, what do you do when you're in trouble? What do you guys do when you're in trouble? You go to timeout, just sit there forever. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid that that and worse was going to happen to me. What, what, happens when, what happens when you get in trouble? Timeout, yeah, yeah. You know, when I was a kid, they had not invented timeout <laughs> yet. And there were other ways that moms punished kids, you know, like, uh, so... I was in trouble. And so what did I do? Well, I, I picked up the cookie jar and I, I set it back on the counter and I, I took the two pieces together and kind of pushed them together and it didn't look too bad. So I just kind of pushed it together and I held my breath and I took my hands off and it was kind of there and it was kind of cracked and but it was still standing there, and I just thought, well, maybe no one will notice. <laughs> Do you know something about when you get in trouble? Someone always notices. <laughs> always notice. Yeah. Yeah, you, you would have noticed, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd have come and told my mom. I know you would. Yeah. Mr. Perfect, yeah. Well, I got in trouble. Yeah, so so mom, mom walked in, and she saw that cookie jar kind of slumped over half together and she turned and looked at me and said who got in the cookie jar <laughs> that's right it was me right yeah. i was in trouble that's big right. trouble have you guys ever been in big trouble yeah you've been you've been in trouble when your mom says listen girl you're in big trouble have you heard that before yeah yeah, you're in, you're in big trouble. You're in big trouble. What is it? How do you get out of big trouble? Huh? You know, when you're, when you you know, if you can get into trouble, isn't there a way to get out of trouble? How do you get out of trouble? 
apologize. That doesn't help you with the broken cookie jar, though, does it? Oh, man. Then I had to listen to how long Mom had that cookie jar, and she got it from her mother. And it was a big story, which I didn't know at the time. But, you know, but you know, you know, whenever we get in trouble, the first person we go to is to Jesus. We say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I, I, shouldn't, I, sh I shouldn't have done what I did, and, and that was wrong. Can you please forgive me? And then after you tell Jesus, you said, then go tell whoever you're in trouble with, your mom or your dad. And, and I said, I said, you know, I'm sorry, Mom. I, I didn't mean to do that. And I won't try to break the rules anymore. If you say don't get a cookie unless you're asking, then I'm not going to do that. And she said, if you'd only do that, you'll stay out of trouble. And I thought to myself, that would be good. <laughs> stay out of trouble. Did you know you can stay out of trouble? Yeah, you can, just, you can just listen and do what Mom and Dad say, and then you'll stay out of trouble. How's that? Do you think you could try that this week? Listen to what mom and dad say, stay out of trouble? What do you think? Can you try that? You try that, and you come back next week, and you tell me how it went. And, but if you get in trouble, go tell your mom, I'm sorry, mom, I'm in trouble. And ask her to help you get it out, and she'll, she'll, she'll talk to you about it, and then maybe, and maybe say a prayer with you to Jesus. And then, you know what Jesus does? He gets you out of trouble. That's the way Jesus does. He loves you, forgives you, and you get out of trouble. That's the best way to handle it. How about that? Okay, so thanks for coming up, and you guys can go back to your seats. And I think, I think they have some uh, goodie bags for you for the service.